crime has been uh, a central issue uh, yeah. for you and your constituents. Senator, at least 30 officers shot last month. It's up 67 percent over 2021, Crazy. January. I mean, you could be forgiven if it feels like it's open season on police officers. John, it's uh, it, it puts an apple in my throat. It's just hard to imagine that people who do their jobs as a mission uh, are being slain in our streets. It's it's devastating to watch, and frankly, the lack of enforcement of existing laws only makes the situation worse for our officers and the communities that they serve in. I can't imagine hearing anyone more clear than Mrs. Rivera as she spoke about the fact that the DA in New York not enforcing the laws makes it worse and makes it harder and makes it more dangerous for officers in New York City. That is playing out in progressive cities around this country, and that has to stop. The president should use his bully pulpit to tell DAs and prosecutors to enforce the laws in our country. That's why they're there. They keep our officers safe. It allows them to do their jobs. And my goodness, I don't want to see another funeral. I don't want to hear another widow. Which is why it's, 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 it's so important. We know this is a priority on the part of the president and the White House. And, Senator, I haven't seen you react to this, but it's gotten a lot of play. And it is the White House press secretary, Jen Psaki, on a podcast the other day, um, seemingly mocking our coverage as a network of this crime crisis. Here's Psaki. And then on Fox is Janine Pirro talking about soft on crime consequences. I mean, what, what does that even mean? Right. Um, so there's an alternate universe on some uh, coverage. What's scary about it is a lot of people watch that. As you know, the Fraternal Order of Police, uh, one of the largest police unions, came out and slammed those comments. This is no laughing matter, uh, its president said. What did you think when you heard that? Is this White House taking yeah. this crisis seriously? There's, it's obvious that the White House lives in an alternate universe. The, anyone who thinks that uh, they have comments that are worthy to be heard, it, I don't understand where she's coming from, number one. Number two, thank God that Fox is actually covering the stories that matter to everyday Americans. Listen, they, they have been soft on crime, they have been bad on crime, and they've been terrible for the communities that they say they have in their focus. Uh, Crime in vulnerable communities is really bad for those folks who can't go anywhere else. And for the officers coming into those communities, it, we're seeing what you just put on the screen, a 67% increase in crimes against our officers, a nearly 50% increase in homicides around our country. Uh, what we need is a tough stance against criminals who are violent. We need a tougher stance from the White House giving the officers the resources. Listen, this is the truth. The, the people who block police reform that would have provided more money for equipment, more money for training, the progressives. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't understand what in the world she's talking about. No one else does.